Hello Aquarius, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, we're glad to have you here. Let's look at the overall energy between you and your love interest at this time for Aquarius and love for July 1st through the 7th. Tick tock, okay. A ticking time bomb, Ooh, okay. So you're just waiting for something to happen. A tick tock, the clock is ticking, you're wondering if your clock is ticking down for some of you. We are seeing go to the sea. Okay, so for some of you, I'm not really necessarily seeing a strong love interest here, but we're gonna find out. You're waiting, time for a nap, you're resting. Okay, you're taking care of yourself. Okay, I will give you the table shot a little bit later in the reading, because I know that you love it. So let's see what we have for your feelings about your person or Aquarius and how they feel about their significant other, okay. So we have, in the recent past, you've really been feeling uh, very stable, like, you know, this could be a marriage partner, this could be a wedding, this could be plans for a wedding, but you have your eye on this person. You feel as though you've met your best friend, you wanna marry your best friend. Three of Cups energy, four of wands, so that is Aries and Cancer. The Ten of Swords, <laughs> what happened Aquarius? Something has come to an end, a painful end. That's a very difficult energy. You're willing to throw caution to the winds right now, but that Ten of Swords is Gemini energy. You know, it's also all about feeling defeated mentally. So, Let's see what we have for how you feel about your person. Oh, in the heart space, you love someone. You're very, very much in love with someone. It's Pisces energy. It does look like for some of you that the person that you loved may have married someone else and you felt very stabbed in the back. Somebody who was a friend for a long time. If it's your story, you know, let me know below. We get the Six of Coins. You really feel very confident that you'll have somebody coming in soon. You are in a feel, you're in this energy of healing. We get the Devil Energy. Spirit is warning you about a Devil Energy. Wow. Devil Energy, when you look at the Devil card, look at how handsome this devil is. Glitter in the hair. Hi, you know, the hair is flying high. This person makes offers, but they are with strings. Look at that. You almost feel sorry for that person on the string. An offer from a devil does not come without toxicity. That is Capricorn energy. I wouldn't say it's you necessarily at all, but Capricorn energy is about the karma that happens when you don't do the right thing, right? The Knight of Swords energy, you are going to track somebody down to talk to them, to speak to them. So I'm getting a lot of um, a lot of healing energy here, a lot of pain, a lot of really loving somebody and still being very much in love with them. You would like to make an approach to them. So let's look and see how your person is feeling about you at this time, Capricorn. What is the energy for Capricorn's person in the recent past? Let's see what we have for Capricorn's person in the recent past. They're watching you online, okay? So we also get that this is a relationship that ended, okay? The Death card with the Ten of Swords makes sense. Okay, the energy is that they felt as though there was something about the relationship that they really couldn't carry, some sort of burden, some sort of guilt. I think the person feels guilty is what I'm thinking. Very much so. I get that when they think of you, they really think of you as somebody who's very hardworking, somebody who they respect, a strong level of Virgo energy, success. We have Pisces energy with the hanged man. Your person is trying to look at things from a different perspective. The Seven of Cups, though, this person may drink too much, they make bad choices. We're really getting this energy that just says that they, they keep their options open, that they really didn't give you anything. This doesn't look substantial from their part other than, you know, the death card. It, it was very painful for the relationship to end. The High Priestess, Cancerian Energy, says that they have hidden feelings and hidden love for you. 
spirit is suggesting that there be stability in the relationship. You fit the profile of a person that they would find very valuable to marry. You know, the Four of Wands is a very important card because it indicates there was a time this person thought they might marry you. The Three of Coins, they still have the door open. They still have the door open. The Three of Coins is Capricorn energy. It's like they're willing to do the work. So let's see what the clarifiers are. We're going to give you the table shot for the clarifiers. All right, so let's look. Your energy versus their energy. Why do you, you have the Four of Wands here? I like to point that out. So it's in your recent past position. It's in the position of the advice from spirit. So there was something about a marriage. I think the two of you probably spoke about marriage at one time. I'm getting very much Capricorn that your energy is more advanced on this, that you were really ready to choose this person. I'm getting this person considered marriage with you, but they seem flaky. I hate the Seven of Cups card. It's so, it's so dumb. It's like somebody who lives in La La Land. I, I don't mean to throw shade on anybody, but, you know, all the choices this person makes or all the choices they could make, Look at, there's one of the choices is a snake. Who wants a coral snake? They're poisonous. So it does look like this person has some toxicity, and you know that. All right, so let's go ahead and finish. Let's clarify all these cards. So why is the Four of Wands here for you in the recent past? The Two of Wands, okay. So you felt as though you were going to be chosen at one time. You definitely felt that you knew that you wanted the relationship. The Nine of Cups, they felt, I'm going to clarify the Four of Wands for them, they felt like you were the one, but it was more like, eat, drink, be merry, oh, this is, we're having a great time. So while you felt that you were at a crossroads, they felt that they were still at a party. You know, like, oh, we're just over here having great fun. Okay. So the Three of Swords, we have a, a third-party situation here. Your person looks as though they broke your heart. It looks as though you had a deep level of friendship for a very long time. It looks as though they stabbed you in the back with a third-party situation. Yep, here we go again. Ten of Swords clarifying the Ten of Swords. So, wow, Aquarius, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for this. Okay, so when you threw caution to the winds, you really did know. You did know this is a fantasy that you had, throwing caution to the winds. But when we look down here at their fantasy, let's clarify their fantasy and what's that? What is that about? The three of coins. Interesting. So. They felt as though you were an option. Three of Coins says that we have three threes here, by the way. So we're looking, and this person just simply made a different decision. They didn't choose you. We can see that. Three of Coins here, and the Three of Swords, and the Three of Cups here. I don't read the Three of Cups and the Three of Coins. It's third-party situations. I leave that strictly to other cards to indicate. Okay. So your person really still wants a relationship with you, some sort of working relationship in which the two of you have communication. Your Ten of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Coins. You were very invested, but you were invested more than they were. Um, when we get the energy of the Six of Coins equal give and take, you were all in. You were ready to invest in this. The Four of Swords is what your current hidden energy is, and the Knight of Pentacles says that you're picking yourself up, you're dusting yourself off, and you're not going to talk to this person ever again, I don't think. And I get the Three of Wands. You're moving forward very quickly to your future, which you do not think involves them. Justice card, Three of Cups again. So... It really shows that there's a lot of redundancy here. You thought you were going to marry this person. It's coming out just like that. And let's see how, let's clarify their energy towards you. The Page of Swords, you have the Page of Wands. They have the Page of Swords. So they still spy on you online. The Magician card, they're going to try to manifest you back. Oh, 
not so welcome, right? After that big betrayal. What's the death card here? Why is the death card here? The Eight of Swords. They don't want it to be over. They want to turn back the, the clock. They feel really guilty. They feel as though they were operating in very kind of catty, bitchy kinds of energy. All right, why, why is the Eight of Coins here for them? The Five of Swords, they just threw in the towel. They didn't tell you, they didn't warn you. They threw in the towel. It was kind of, it was a raw deal. They made you believe they were still like involved with you when they went out and they chose another person. The Hanged Man, well they've been hung out to dry by their own judgment as well as that of spirit. The King of Wands, you could be dealing with a Leo. The Fool card says that they want some sort of new beginning. They want, I feel as though you've known this person for a very long time and they want to somehow be friends with you, Five of Wands. They put you in a terrible position of having to compete. So this energy coming from this person isn't the nicest. The High Priestess energy, why were they so secretive with you? Why didn't they tell you the truth? Page of Cups, childishness. Okay. Where you saw marriage, they saw fun. Where's the Three of Coins? Why is it here for you or for your person? Nine of Coins, they see you as very highly desirable single woman who's, you know, or single, uh, it's, it's Virgo energy. So they see you as a very highly desirable single person who looks good, who smells good, who presents themselves well. They feel like the Wheel of Fortune will come for you within three months to have a relationship with somebody else. Ouch, ouch, ouch. This was not fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify TikTok because it shows that you felt that time was running out and then it ran out. Why is that here? Five of Coins. Okay, you were left in the cold at a time when you thought you were moving forward. Now the High Priestess, this person just kept it totally secret from you, that they were on a journey, physical or mental or emotional. And it looks like news came to you when you were sleeping. Yep, judgment, there we go. Somebody woke you up in the middle, you know, sometime when you were sleeping, napping or whatever. And they told you the truth of the matter. Let's see what your sacred destiny is for this because Aquarius is kind of a tough reading, man. This is a tough reading. But it's not all, this is not going to be obviously for everyone, but you're really feeling it. Okay, let's see here. Change, okay. Change is in the wind, okay. Big change is coming your way. Pleasure, woo, la la. That's why your person knows for a fact that you're going to get out there, you're going to hit the single scene, and you're going to be very successful. And security, you're going to, you're building security for yourself with someone else in the near future. And so that is your energy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for joining me today. Take care. Sending you love. Bye bye.